Welcome back to Nerd News Today. On this episode, it's some more pro wrestling action figures, and we are taking a look at the AEW gear pack of Chris Jericho. So this figure is an Amazon exclusive. This is the first Amazon.com exclusive for AEW. It's also the kind of like almost AEW's version of an Ultimate Edition figure, which I'll talk a little bit more once you get them out of the packaging because I have some thoughts on that. But yeah, this is basically a kind of a, a sub-series that they're doing now. I don't know if it's going to be exclusive purely to Amazon or if they are going to make any other gear pack similar to this down the line that can be, you know, wide release. But for what we know now, this is a gear pack. It's basically representing two different times for Chris Jericho and AEW. So when you're getting this figure, you're getting him not exactly in wrestling gear, although he can still wrestle in those tights. Uh, but what you are getting is the shirt he wore from when Orange Cassidy dumped all the orange juice all over him, and the shirt from when he and MJF had that awesome musical number, which I know some people didn't like it. I was a big fan of it. I thought it was hilarious and amazing hearing MJF sing too, by the way. Yeah, make sure you watch that again. But uh, yeah, it's basically two different outfits here for one Chris Jericho figure. That's kind of really cool to me. So uh, let's go ahead and talk first about this box here. And it's very different from what you get with the normal AEW Unrivaled figures. This figure is not going to fit in your ringside defender case anytime soon. It's basically a small box, but it still has the same nice things that all the other AEW figures have on their packaging. It's got the really nice gold design on it. It's got a really great big window, so you can see every single accessory that this figure comes with. And it's quite a great deal, in fact, because as the box tells you, it's eight pieces in here. And that's pretty nice. Side of the packaging, you can see, has a photo of Chris Jericho on it and the AEW logo. Nothing too fancy there. And the back of the box has a picture of Chris Jericho from when he was there with that white shirt on and he's about to get the OJ dumped all over him as well as a fake signature. If I was going to nitpick about anything about this packaging here, really it would be the fact that the back of the box only has that orange juice shirt on. I kind of wish it had the MJF musical number also. Yeah, it would have been cool to have both of them in there. And another thing that is noticeably missing from this is that normally other AEW figures will tell you when they're from. There's an actual date and it also tell you what event it's from, whether it was on TV or whether it was on a pay-per-view. This box neglects to give you any of that information, so it's kind of a guessing game, but really it's not that much of a guessing game because you guys already know what these outfits are, so it doesn't take that much work to figure it out. But that's enough about the packaging here. Let's go ahead and get this Chris Jericho out of the box, into the ring, and take a closer look at him. All right, and here is our Chris Jericho now out of the box. So what I want to do first, before I really get too deep into this review, is I actually want to compare him to the first AEW figure I ever got. And that would be this one right over here. This is the little bit of the bubbly Chris Jericho. And the reason I want to bring this to your attention is because there's some pretty obvious differences here right off the bat. So, uh, you know, as this Jericho leans for some reason, because my table's a little funky. Um, but basically what I want to make point out really is the differences between the paint and the plastic that they use since the beginning here. So a little bit of the bubbly Jericho is on this side over here on the right side. And you can see he is so much brighter than this Jericho on the left. And that was something that they kind of have worked on making running changes to because, yeah, those figures in the first wave, as well as a little bit of the bubbly Jericho, they were all way too bright. So, for example, if you bought the very first series of AEW Unrivaled number one, well, they all have this same skin tone. It's really gross, really bright. I mean, I didn't mind it that much, but now seeing it compared to this one over here, yeah, I, I definitely prefer this much more subtle, more realistic version of Jericho on the left. So ultimately what happened was AEW Unrivaled Series 1 did get a re-release called Series 1B, where they updated all the flesh tones to look like this. But uh, another really major point here I want to show you guys is the heads. Like, look at how much better the head painting is on here, on our new Jericho here. Like, the paint is just so much nicer. They really improved that even. And even the tattoo details, you know, since we have them both side by side here, I mean, you guys can just look at the tattoos. Uh, even the way they did the tattoos, it's just much more detail now. Uh, you know, while it is brighter, of course, on the figure with the brighter flesh, and logically so, I think the detail is much nicer on this darker flesh tone version now. It's same with the other tattoo here. It's on his forearm. Uh, you know, it's, it's actually pretty much the same, I would say, but yeah, that's kind of a major difference just to know off the bat about this figure is that they've really come a long way in a very short time already. And that says a lot about the fact that they're actually recognizing their issues and getting them fixed as they go. So now that I've done with that comparison, let's go ahead and talk about this figure itself. And let's start with that head sculpt, which I already talked a little bit about, just comparing it to that kind of hideous one on the little bit of the Bobby Jericho. But the head sculpt here on this Chris Jericho, I think it's one of my favorite head sculpts they've done on him so far. And this isn't the first time they've actually used this head sculpt on him. I think this is actually the second figure to have this head sculpt. But I like this one a lot. I think it looks really good. I think it looks so much more like him than the other one that we just looked at, too. But yeah, it's got a really great expression. Uh, I, I just think the detail is really good. It's painted very nicely as well. Not overpainted, which is very important to note. I think the hair looks really good too. Hair is always really important on a Chris Jericho figure. If you get that wrong, you've really botched the entire thing. But you know, as far as I'm concerned, the hair detail on it looks really good, very accurate, very nice and flowing. I like the little ponytail sticking out there as well. So overall, you know, good job on that head sculpt. I think it's a really, really good version of Jericho. And if you didn't have one already, then I mean, yeah, this is the best way to get this type of figure here. And if you didn't get the figure that already had that head sculpt, then now's your chance to do it. And I think this is a great way to get it. 
I would even say this is probably one of the better Chris Jericho head sculpts, even comparing it to WWE Elite figures. But of course, if you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. Tell me which Chris Jericho figure you think across all the many, many figures that he's had, including heck, even WCW Toy Biz. Which one of those do you think has the very best head sculpt among all of his Chris Jericho action figures? Let's talk articulation real quick too, just to get that out of the way. So this Chris Jericho figure has the exact same articulation as really any of the other figures so far from AEW Jazz Wars, and it's very good. The head is ball jointed, it moves left and right. Shoulder joints are moving really nicely, ball jointed. You've got double jointed elbows, as well as fully articulated wrist. Uh, that goes for both arms too. Everything is super articulated on these figures, which I love about them. You have a chest area that can rotate. The waist is stiff out of the box, but trust me, it does move. It's just, oof, it's very, very stiff out of the box. Uh, legs, you can see also super flexible with that. Uh, you've got double jointed knees, thigh articulation, boot articulation, ankle articulation. So it's fairly comparable to an Ultimate Edition figure, just the one thing it really doesn't have that kind of sets it apart would be the toe articulation. And uh, while it's handy to have, I don't necessarily need it. I'm okay with it not being there, not a big deal. The toe articulation is very handy, don't get me wrong, but hey, for the price this figure is and the amount of articulation you've got, uh, I'd say it's a win already. But really the reason you're gonna be getting this Chris Jericho figure is not so much for the Jericho figure itself, but really for the accessories. So let's go ahead and spend some time talking about those. And I think we basically need to start big because, yeah, the reason why you're going to get this figure is for Chris Jericho's wardrobe. So over here, we've got that orange Cassidy white shirt. And then over here, the MJF musical number shirt. And uh, they come with a little cardboard piece to keep them nice and flat as well. And you're not putting them on the character, which is handy. I'd recommend you guys don't throw them out. But yeah, this looks really nice. Uh, really good detail. You know, we're basically about to play dress up with our wrestling figure here. Who thought we'd ever say something like that? But that is exactly what we're doing, and I'm fine with that. But we'll come back to that in a second because there are a few other accessories, too. We've got a pair of sunglasses for Chris Jericho. And let's see, those should just be able to pop right onto his head just like that. There you go. That's our sunglasses. We also have this neckerchief, which he wore a few times. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop his head off, in fact. Now, let's put on the neckerchief just to show how that works and also to show you guys how the heads pop off which is always hard to do on camera, but trust me, they do come off. So there we go, handkerchief on, Jericho head goes back on, there we go. All right, he also comes with an additional two pairs of gloved hands. So we're gonna pop his hands out too. Let's do that. Actually, I'm gonna keep the hands off right now while we change his outfits. So why don't we go ahead and start with the orange Cassidy shirt. We'll show you guys how that looks. And it's worth noting too, by the way, that the, uh, it looks like the cardboard flaps actually go all the way through to the shirt. Yeah, all right, so, well, so much for me actually keeping that piece, oh well. It's worth a shot. So I always recommend if you're putting on especially soft goods with your wrestling figures, go ahead and take the hands off your figure. It'll make your life a lot easier. And really now as I do this, probably the better way to actually do this is to pop the head off so you can get it all the way up across his back. And uh, there we go. Yeah, that, that's fitting. That's fitting much better now. So once you get it on there, then you pop the Jericho head back on. So let's go ahead and put some gloved hands on him now as well. All right, so the Jericho's now got his jacket on. I didn't realize it actually has a little Velcro piece too. Uh, let's see if we can actually get it to close because that would be great if we could. Oh, it does. All right, it does close. Uh, a little bit uneven for some reason. That's probably on me. I don't know why that is so uneven looking. Um, that's better, okay. So that's the thing to look out for. So here he is dressed up looking a lot like Meatloaf, oddly enough. I wonder if that's what he was actually going for with this look. Uh, let's put the glasses back on him as well. Now let's get that last accessory in his hand. That would be his AEW microphone. So there you go, and I can go ahead and cut your promo as he should. So there you have it. That's your Chris Jericho figure once he's all decked out in his orange Cassidy gear. I wouldn't recommend actually dumping orange juice on him because yeah, it's gonna totally stay in the figure. But as far as it looks, it's looking pretty nice. You know, I, I gotta say like, while the glasses are a little bit funky, I guess, that's just because the nature of action figures about the suit. Otherwise, it looks fine, it looks good, it fits nicely. Uh, that's a really nice little figure right there. So let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. You get a full, not necessarily a full look, but a little bit better look at how he's posing right here. To me, that looks great. I mean, that's perfect. But of course, that's not all because this Jericho does have a second outfit, and that would be this one right here. So why don't we go ahead, and because it is a musical outfit, let's do something a little bit musical and fancy, and make a quick wardrobe change. And there we have it. Voila. That is our musical singing version of Chris Jericho. I actually don't remember if he wore the uh, neckerchief. I, I don't think he did. I'm pretty positive he also didn't wear the sunglasses, but I just decided to put them on just for the heck of it. But we'll take them off too, in fact, just to be like super clear. Yeah, actually that, looks, that actually looks really cool right there. I like how that is with the glasses over his head. But yeah, again, this is also a closable jacket. So that's what I already did here. I've already sealed him up into it. Uh, it's really glittery. It's really nice. It is so Chris Jericho. It's kind of amazing. 
Uh, I, you know, as far as like which one I prefer, I definitely like this jacket much better. It really, really pops. It's very cool. I really like that they did this gear pack and gave you the option of using two different shirts also. Uh, you know, that's really handy. So you got some different options. And considering how many Jericho figures is going to be, you know, you won't really need to actually even necessarily keep swapping this one out again and again. You can put it on any Jericho, really any figure for that matter. So let's go ahead and do some size comparisons also, because uh, I have a few other AEW figures out here. Let's go ahead and put them next to a Cody Rhodes. We've got a Penta L Zero that we can put over there as well. Uh, and also just on the smaller side of things here, let's go ahead and put a Darby Allen figure right next to Jericho. So you can also see how he scales up with him if you haven't seen that before. And then finally, we'll bring in a Kenny Omega figure. So that kind of shows you a few different sizes here, how all these guys look together. Uh, what a ragtag group I got right here. But yeah, that's how they all scale up. Size-wise looks pretty good. Of course, I'm not like a super nitpicker for size and height differences. I'm not like one of those guys that's like, you know, one or two inches, whatever. If it's more than that, that's a whole other thing. But, you know, here's at least how he looks side by side with everybody. And I think he looks really cool, especially with this jacket. He just pops so much and stands out so much more compared to a lot of the other AEW figures. Although I got to say, so far, they've done a really good job choosing really nice outfits for everybody, really flashy looks for all the characters. So really no complaints from me here. You know, I mean, like, look at how everybody looks. This is just not even necessarily the most exciting guys to look at, although Penta is one of my favorites of all time in terms of the toys. Um, but you can just see how everybody looks. They're all very different, very exciting looking, but... Really, you can't beat this amazing gear pack, Chris Jericho. So really, like I said, there's already been a ton of Chris Jericho figures out there on the market. There's going to never be a shortage of Chris Jericho figures from AEW. Uh, so, you know, should you buy this figure? The answer for me is yes. I think this is a definite Chris Jericho buy, especially if your only figure before this was this little bit of the bubbly, which is quite inferior now compared to what we've got. But it's a great looking figure. I love the options. And now that it's become a little bit easier to get, I definitely think it's worth picking up. Because really, it is two figures in one. It basically is an ultimate edition for the AEW Jazzwares lineup. And putting soft goods on action figures usually does make that price go up quite a bit. So I think that's why they're doing it this way here with putting two outfits in one as well. So I think it's a really cool way to do it. I hope they do this more with other characters too. Like I would love to actually see them maybe do this option for suit jackets because you know we've seen a lot of wrestlers wearing suits on AEW TV. It's kind of a thing you do in wrestling. You wear a suit and you cut a promo. Uh, you know, guys like MJF, like Cody Rhodes, several others have worn suits. So why not do something like this where we can basically have some kind of interchangeability? Because speaking of, if you guys don't know this, I'll, I'll do Kenny Omega here. You know, all the AEW figures are completely customizable off the bat. It's really easy to pop all their joints out so you can swap their legs, so you can swap their parts and make some really nice customs immediately with no issues. So I think having suit jackets in this way can make things really cool. And also I know that not a lot of everybody out there is gonna to wanna to have a suited version of their characters. They might just want them in wrestling gear. This is a good way to kind of keep that separate, keep it uh, a little more high end too. But at the end of the day, yeah, I really like this figure. I'm very happy with it. And I'd be certainly happy with getting more figures like it in this style. So that's our look at the AEW Gear Pack Chris Jericho figure. It is an Amazon.com exclusive. I'm going to have an affiliate link in the description below, which you can use if you want to pick this up for yourself. So please do that if you want to get this guy. And I'd always say don't pay scalper prices, but I will say get this figure now. I don't quite know what the market's going to be like for this particular figure. I get the feeling, you know, right now while it's in stock, the price is not getting too crazy. And I think a lot of the folks who've been buying AW to scalp it have kind of slowed down a little bit also. So I really can't say this is going to be a super rare, super hot figure, but I can say it's a really good figure. And you might as well get it now before it does get discontinued and becomes a lot more money. So that's the AEW Gear Pack Chris Jericho from Jazzwares, Amazon.com exclusive. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, please make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this figure. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. So until next time, I'm Matthew. This has been Nerd News Today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys here next time.